name is Danielle Baker and I'm the owner and director of Signature Inc. Models and Company as well as Girls Glam Fashion Program. Today we're here at the City of God's Boutique at 1118 Highland Street and we are invited some models down to give a segment on training. We want everybody to be prepared for the industry when they go out on go sees, when you're filling out applications to be viewed as a model. You definitely want to know your sizes. It's very important that you're putting down the correct information when you're meeting with people. So today we're just going to kind of show you example and give you some training tips on what, what you can use when you out there going to see people in the industry. Let's get started. Now I'm about to introduce uh, one of my newest Signature Inc. models. Her name is Miss Danielle Weeks. I'm gonna be demonstrating how to measure yourself and be ready when you're going out on go sees. Danielle has um, currently just recently did a promotion for the Dollhouse Boutique that's located on Shaw Street, as well as she just recently got chosen to be a part of what's the 410 hair and fashion magazine. So y'all gonna be seeing her really soon on her upcoming edition. So the first thing you want to do is get a measuring tape. It doesn't matter what color you get. You just want to get a basic measuring tape. It's very important that when you're measuring that you go on the side with the biggest numbers. On the back of the measuring tape they also have numbers. This is the smaller ones but for your basic measurement you want to go right and use the bigger numbers on the front. And then here is the tip is your guide. So when you're measuring you want to use this as your guide. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure Miss Dang out here. You want to take the measuring tape around the back and you're going to pull all the way up. We're going to move her necklace over just a little bit. You want to pull all the way up and you get the measurement. She's at a 33. How do I know she's at a 33? Because I'm using my tip as my guide and where that lands is at a 33. So she's at a 33 so we're going to round that up to a 34. That's how you can buy your bra sizes and even numbers. So we got a 34. The next thing you're going to do is take the measuring tape and go around the back side of your bra where you actually hook your bra at to get a great measurement. Then you're going to take the front over the widest part of the breast. Then you're going to bring your tip. Don't forget that's your guide. You don't want to go really tight when you get to this area. You want to have a little bit of room out. And this one stopped at a 35. So at first we got a 34 and now we got a 35. So you want to count up. Starting from 34, this would be A. And then 35 would be B. And then if it was a 36, it would be C. And a 37 would be D. That's how you could get your cup sizes. So again, just to recap that, when you go up right across here, you take that guy, you put it here, she's at a 33, but we rounded her up to a 34. Second thing we do, we come around the widest part of the breast and the front. We don't make it very tight, so you make sure that you have room. We don't want any spillage in your bra at all. That's very unattractive. So we got here and we had a 35. So again, so that's a 34. And then the next cup would be a B. So that's A, B. If we had got a 38, we would have counted up and would have been A, B, C, D, D. So if we would have got a 38 as our second bus measurement, that means she would have been a 34 double D. The next measurement you want to get, so that would be for your bus, that's very important. The next measurement you're going to get is the waist. At your waist, right here should be like a really good dent on the side. This is going to be your waist measurement. Like you should feel a bone right there. You feel that? You should feel a bone right here. This is going to be your waist measurement. So you take your measuring tape. And you go across, you don't want a lot of clothes on. She just have on a little t-shirt, but you don't want a lot of clothes on when you're doing your measurement. So we're going across here to her waist and pulling it around and her waist is at a 33. So her waist, we're using this as a guide, her waist is at a 33. And then the next thing you're gonna do is the hips. For your hips, if you turn to the side for me, for your hips, and just grab your jacket up a little bit. Your hips, you want to go around the widest part of the buttocks. So when you go here, you go around the widest part, put your legs together. You put your legs together, and this is how you get your hip measurement. And so at the bottom, she's at a 41. Okay, so the three pertinent sizes you want to make sure that you know is the bust, 
the waist, and the hips. So if somebody asks you for your stats, we will go 34, 33, 41. 